and then they raise the people who I mean I'm not putting anybody down okay but they raise the, the minimum wage for the fast food at the same time they raise everybody's hamburger price mm -hmm. that's just reality and and you know yeah, this this is know. this is an issue <laughs> okay. trade off with that the only fast food joints they hurt were the small chains and the mom and pops ones those are the ones they really hurt because they right. live yes. they live month to month yes Yes. The big chains, which is ones they were trying to affect, like McDonald's and Burger, they ain't mm -hmm. hurting them because vast, the vast Very, majority yes, of them are franchises. Yes. At the end Very of the true. day, that franchise is still going to send all the money it's supposed to back to headquarters. True. All they did was make it less money that the franchisee owner gets to take home in their pocket. Yeah. Actually, I believe in um, the entire America. Small business owners percentage is higher than the you know corporation or mm -hmm. franchising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and that's why yeah, that's why they did that because they want to kill the small no, business they, owners. No, they put the they put the bill they put the bill for paying that stuff out on the small business owners. Because yeah, they're gonna I mean. figure out the small business owners will figure out how to navigate that, how to bring stuff up to speed. And the big franchise, all they got to do is follow the train. All the successful small businesses that make it work, the big companies are like, okay, now, how are they making that work? All right, 10 years, we'll follow that train. Be business as usual. They ain't yeah. got to worry about it. See, I just don't get, I don't just don't understand what's wrong with Gavin News. I think he has some, um, control issue because remember back in just not too long ago right before COVID he put out a mandate for we cannot use plastic straw anymore <laughs> remember that we're using paper straw and then Gavin funny Newsom thing funny is thing is if, yeah but no, you gotta remember to, Gavin Newsom is pandering. listen to me first I oh. know uh, but the but the if you go to Starbucks or Boba place the cup they use which is gigantic, mm -hmm. it's plastic, mm -hmm. <laughs> you see? So I don't know what's, that's why I said he, it, it he has some plastic. sort of, he has some sort of, I don't know what's wrong in his mind, to be honest with you. He, 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 he has no sense of what's important and what's not. Well, in or, my opinion, he's see? trying to push, in my opinion, what he's trying to do is, and his, follow, his followers aren't trying to do this, but he's trying to do it because he knows that if he pushes it, California is, you can't deny it for the next 20 years, California is still going to be, the one, is still going to be in the top five GDP I think of it's countries. Falling. I know. I think it's falling, to be honest with you. I look no, around. we're falling a little bit, but we're still, yeah. it's still it's still so yeah. many people and so many but, businesses. You know, but if you, yes, if you, yeah, but if you look at, let's say, five years from now, I really think it's, maybe it doesn't take five years. I'll give it two two years the most if they didn't fix it. Nah, because well, everybody, long, cause see, the thing, because everybody is leaving, you know. Yeah, a lot of people are leaving, but, you know, it's like with everything when you say everybody's leaving. The ones who really leave in the first 10 years, are the ones who could afford to leave to begin with. All the ones who couldn't afford to leave, well, they got to hang around and figure out how to make this work. There's a lot of those people, and this is what this is how you this is how you get innovation. You know, you you put the people in a position where they have to come up with a better plan. You know, you have to have a reason to have a better plan that's more than just true but but this is um how do i put it this way um Water. i uh, yeah i think a lot of people are just it's not about you know like try to resolve it just sickening you know what i mean like like it's kind of like one after another one now they you know they they even landlords Whoever rent out the house, they put a cap on it. I, you know, I understand. You know, renter needs some 
breathe room as well. But mm -hmm. I really feel this is all, again down to government overreach. This is let's say your landlord, I'm a renter. It's a negotiation between you and I. What I have to do with the government? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why yeah, I, I yeah. And a lot of people say, oh, they did it to protect the people. No, they did that to protect you, the landlord. Because if I put a cap on it, now you're not getting greedy and just running away with the market. Because well, now you're going to always be able to find somebody who can afford at least that much. If I well, don't here, put a cap on it and you follow the market, what's going to happen when well, the market collapses on well, you? Well, here's the thing. Let's say, I mean, you know, just give an example. Uh, a lot of places, I believe, is three to five percent cap rental control, mm -hmm. but our inflation is, <laughs> you know, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. So, did, did, so, did I so what I, so what I'm trying, so what I'm trying to say is, you know, landlord has expense just like every other business. Oh yeah, no, no. So, you're, so you're, that's why you're absolutely correct. Yeah. The landlord so, does have expenses like so everybody. The, so the expense will have to. Just like the just like the hamburger fast food chain, the expense have to, has to go pass it down to the consumer. Yes, that's the the. the but economy. it's a give and take. You yeah, can so. pass it down to the consumer until the consumer no longer is interested yeah. in consuming, and at that point, you gotta. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna either have to bail or you're gonna roll it back. They will have a choice to and leave. Hopefully, you can yeah. survive. Until things balance, the markets balance out again, and yeah, so that's one of the main I, reasons why I'm trying to get stuff going right now because I I literally see <laughs> so much opportunity over the next ten years, like it is going to be ridiculous, in my personal opinion. Okay, cool.